Hey you guys, in today's video I wanted to share what I have got so far from the Sephora sale. Now this isn't going to be my last sale, I'm going to place one more probably small order online. And I did want to show you guys what I got during the Ulta semi-annual sale, whatever they called it, and some other extra things that I got from Ulta since we're already here with the Sephora. I have a big bag from Ulta. But before we get started, if you're new here, hi, my name is April. If you're not already subscribed, I would love if you would subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And let me know in the comments down below, have you guys got anything from the Sephora sale yet? I am not rouge this year, but I was able to use my mom's discount because she is rouge. Um, I've been on a low buy the last two years, and this year I've done a really good job. And last year too, I guess, because it counts from last year. But yeah, so I was able to use hers. Um, I'm not sure. As I'm filming this, the VIBs can't shop the sale yet. But like I said, I've already done the majority of what I wanted to get already. I just want to do one more small purchase and then I will be done. But anyways, that was already a long intro. Let's go ahead and jump into today's video. Okay, let's start off with what I got so far during the Sephora sale. Now, as I'm filming this video, the Sephora sale has started for all the tiers, plus you can get 30% off of the Sephora collection. Um, this is probably not going to be my last purchase. I'm probably going to have one more online order just because I still need to get my birthday gift and that you can only get online. So I'm just going to do one more small order. I think that's all I had to tell you guys. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and start with the first item. The first thing I got was this Dior Backstage Eye Palette in the color um, 002 Smoky Essentials. It just looks like this. And I wasn't going to get this, but then I saw it in store more and I was like, okay, I have to get it. And this one has, let me see pearl a uh, satin shimmer satin metal shimmer shimmer matte 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 so this one i like because it has a variety of different formulas the other ones that i've gotten before didn't they were like practically all shimmers and i didn't like that but this is what the color story looks of this one this is right up my alley this is so pretty Ooh, I cannot wait to try this. I don't think I'm going to swatch anything in today's video. I will try out these products in another video. I'll try to get that video done before the Sephora sale ends. But this was my first product. Then the next thing I got was this Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Melting Bronzing and Sculpting Stick. It just looks like this. I did get mine in the shade Chocolate Souffle. And luckily they have these in store so I was able to see the shades and um, try to see which color would be best for me. Oh, this is pretty packaging. This is what the packaging looks like. And you can't tell but it does say Too Faced on the packaging um, in gold letters. And then it has a TF with the heart embossed right there. You could probably see just a little bit. And people were saying this smells like chocolate covered oranges. But no, I feel like this smells like artificial chocolate. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, I can't smell the oranges at all. Let me know, did you guys pick this up? I know a lot of people picked it up. I've been watching a lot of people's um, hauls already. <laughs> so I did pick this one up. I'm so tempted to like swatch this, but I'm gonna refrain from doing that. <laughs> And then the last two products are both from YSL, and it looks like this. So I did go ahead and I got another one of the Rouge Volept Candy Glaze Double Care Balm. I did get it in the shade number 15, Showcasing Nude. I already have one of these in my collection. It's the clear one, and I freaking love it so much, so I had to get another one. I had to make sure to wait until the Sephora sale to get this because I really wanted to get it before the sale. But this is what the packaging looks like. And this does have a little bit of a color more than the other one that I have. It's just a clear one, like I said. This one, you can pull it up and down. You don't have to, once you pull it up, it 
you know, like some that don't go down. This one does go down. I am going to swatch this because I am curious to see what the shade looks like. And since I've already used this before, like the formula, I already know. Um, but that's what the color looks like. Ooh, that is pretty. Okay, I'm going to put this off to the side because I'm going to top. I'm going to put this on right now, but I want to talk to you guys about this other one that I got. This one is the new formulated uh, Love Shine Rouge um, High Shine Caring Lipstick. I did get mine in the shade 201 Rosewood Blush. So I do have one of these in my collection. I am wearing it today, but it is the older formula because I was able to get it on a discount before they got rid of it. It looks like this is what the old packaging looks like. And I do have it in the shade number nine. So I don't love this. And I'm a little afraid that I'm not going to love this one. I do pref prefer the candy glaze one way more than the original one. So just keep that in mind. I had I have had to reapply twice already. And I feel like I'm going to have to reapply it again. This isn't a long-lasting formula. It is more pigmented than the Candy Glaze. I will, you know, let you guys know that. It does have more pigment. But it's just not as juicy. And it doesn't last long as the Candy Glaze. So, like I said, I prefer the Candy Glazes over these ones so far. But, um, so, again, this is what the new packaging looks like right here. And this is the old packaging. The color and, um... I guess the formula I'm not 100% sure I have to get back to you guys on that but this is the new one and this is what the color looks like I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this one so I don't mix up <laughs> when I show you guys but that's what that one looks like oh that is pretty and that one feels like it's more shiny than the original formula so maybe they did but you can tell the candy glaze does look more shiny on camera and in person you could tell um, but I do like both of these colors and then let me go ahead and swatch the original one that I have just so I can see I didn't think I was gonna like it because it did look darker uh, here than it does on the lips but it's okay let's see let's swatch it right here oh yeah this one's more like a pink color but I definitely like the color of the new one more than the original one and I kind of feel like the original one is more pigmented like it's more of a lipstick formula almost as to this it's more of a like um like a bomb you know not lip gloss but like more of a bomb so you can definitely see the different formulas in these but I'm gonna have to test out the new one and the old one and then I'll get back to you guys on this but so far like I said I do like the candy glaze ones more so that was it for my Sephora haul portion let me go ahead and take out the stuff that I got uh, from Ulta we will start with the products that I got during the 21 days of sale okay I did go ahead and take out the products from the bag just so it would make a lot of noise this year for the Ulta sale, I didn't go crazy just because I didn't like the way they did things this year. This year they called it their semi-annual sale, I believe, and they didn't show all the products at once that they were going to be uh, having 50% off. It was every week they would do section by section, and I didn't like that. <laughs> so I definitely was very choosy of what I purchased. They did, however, towards the end of the sale, like I think the last two weeks or the last week, they showed everything all at once. I think they saw that people were pissed about that, <laughs> or maybe they weren't getting the sales that they would, uh, that they hoped that they were gonna get, but yeah, I just didn't go crazy. I didn't repurchase any, uh, um, like repurchases I didn't do that I literally bought products that are new to me and yeah I like I said didn't go crazy so, so let's go ahead I did get one lip product and the reason why I got this was because I heard oh my god what is her name I'm drawing a blank right now I'll have a picture of her which she looks like right here I love watching her videos and she raved about this and then I saw that it was going to be on sale uh, for 50% off. This normally is affordable. It's $12 regularly and then of course it was 50% off so it's $6. I'm talking about the Sashu. I think that's how you say it. I'm not 100% sure how you say the brand name but this is called the Lip Liner Stay 
and peel off lip liner tattoo. I did get mine in the shade 04 Hay Hazel. Um, the way it's spelled, it's weird, but this is what the packaging looks like. I'm um, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce the name, but... So yeah, when I seen that she was talking about this and then I saw that it was going to go on sale for 50, I was like, 50% off? I was like, oh yes, perfect time to try this. I did only get one just because I wanted to try the formula out. This is what the actual packaging looks like. And then, ooh, this is dark. <laughs> That's what that looks like. Um, let me go ahead. I'm going to swatch it and then I'm going to leave it on my hand to see. So when you first put it on, this is what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and leave it there for a little bit just to see. Um, swatch it off, I guess. So this is supposed to be for your lip lines. She did say you have to go a couple times over it. I'm going to have to test this out off camera and then I will get back to you guys on how this works out. But yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and try it and see. I don't know what it is this year. I've been on a like stain kick lately. Like the one for Milk Makeup, you know, the one that's going viral. Everybody's going crazy over. Um, that, I bought it specifically for my lips and I've been loving it. Love, love, love. I'll put a lip liner on, like a very new nude lip liner and then I'll blend it out so you can't really see the lip liner and then I'll pat the milk product on top of my lips in the like very inner inside of my lips and then I'll put like a lip gloss over that clear lip gloss and it looks so freaking beautiful I've have had it on my um, cheeks I like it but I love it more on my lips so yeah like I said I just been loving that look with you know just a stain on my lips and then a lip gloss over it so we will see how this works out. And then the last products that I got during the Ulta sale, I could not believe these went on sale. I've had my eye on these products for a very, very long time, even before they came to Ulta. And they finally came to Ulta and I almost bought them full price, but I was like, no, they're a little too expensive. You know, I'll wait, I'll wait. And I'm so glad I did because like I said, I was surprised that they were part of the sale. I am talking about Div, um, I don't want to say Div Beauty, but Div, that's the brand name. And so I did go ahead and I picked up the shampoo and the conditioner. This is um, supposed to help with, um, let me see, it says support a healthy scalp, creating a foundation for healthy, happy hair. Um, this cleanses while stimulating uh, restoring breakage, detoxifying the scalp, and moisturizing both hair and scalp. Um, so basically I got this because I was getting a bunch of hair loss in the front. You can't really tell. It has grown back, um, as of a couple months ago. But last year I noticed, and you can notice in some of my videos, that I had lost so much hair in the front. You could see it so much more when I had my hair up like in a ponytail. And I just did not, I was so embarrassed and I didn't want to have my hair da up because of that reason, even though I like my hair up more. And I think I know what product it was that was doing that to my hair because I stopped using it and then all of a sudden I started to see my hair grow back and it wasn't falling out as much as it was before. I'll tell you what that product is when I do my um, empties video. But yeah, I stopped using that product and it doesn't look as bad, but I can tell like, um, you know, it could do better. So I've heard really good things about this and I want to try out the brand to see. I'm just finishing the shampoo that I have right now and then once I finish that then I'll um, use these. And then I did go ahead and I got the scalp serum and it just looks like this. Um, this is I think was the most popular product. The shampoo and conditioner they were just bonuses. I was like you know I might as well just get everything that I can from Div while it's 50% off. I normally don't condition my hair I just shampoo it and then I'll put like um like a hair mask in the shower leave it on and then I'll do more of like hair products when I get out like you know um like a what is it called a oil or you know something like that I'll take really good care of it after I get out of the shower but I'm that type of person where I just want to get in and out <laughs> <laughs> and that is one thing that I hate doing. Sorry, guys, I am itching like right here in the front. That is one thing I hate doing is I hate washing my hair just because it's so long and thick. And I just want to, like I said, get in and out. 
<laughs> and I only wash my hair once a week just because my hair cannot take washing it every day. Um, but I do use dry shampoo. Like this is, I want to say maybe, let me see, what's today? Today's Monday. I washed my hair Friday or Saturday. So what, two or three days hair? And I've only had to put dry shampoo once. So I like my hair. Um, I need to color it. I'm not sure what I want to do. Let me know in the comments. I don't know if I should like do it completely blonde or if I should just do like the bottom half of my hair like a bright red color or should I go back to my regular hair color let me know I definitely uh, need some help in deciding I'm gonna get it done pretty soon so but yeah that was everything that I got during the uh, Ulta sale now let me go ahead and show you what I got with my birthday my $10 like coupon for my birthday my birthday is this month on the 20th so they do give you like a free gift you could choose ten dollars and i think something else but i'm not 100 percent sure i forgot but anyways so i did go ahead and i used my ten dollars for this this is the polite society polite pop powder blush stick it just looks like this i did get it in the shade sydney I don't know I was just really intrigued with this product and I did want to try something from this brand and I did go ahead and find it in store so I, I was able to see what it looks like but that is what the packaging looks like this is $28 if I'm not mistaken which I mean it's kind of a lot but then it's kind of not that is what the color looks like oh that is such a pretty nude everyday color for me I will swatch this one. Let me go ahead and swatch it on this hand. Oh, this is more sheer than I thought it was going to be. But you could tell it's powdery. Like, it's powder. <laughs> I don't like to use that word because that's not a word. But it looks glowy right now. But in person, it does look powder. Um, so, yeah, I cannot wait to try that on my cheeks. But that is what I got for my birthday. And then for my free birthday gift... I was almost gonna buy this well I was almost gonna buy this full price and then I was like no wait till the Sephora sale could get it for 15% um, off because I am not Rouge anymore um, I'm VIB so I'm so glad I waited to get this uh, and I'm so glad that it was part of the like choose your birthday gift because this is tiny this size is $15 regular price <laughs> So I'm glad I got it for free. But I'm talking about the Way Leave-In Conditioner. Um, this is what it looks like. And yeah, like I said, you can get this for $15. I think that is ridiculous. So this better be really good. I cannot wait to try it and see. I am happy though that it is a mini size. You know, like you could get this size specifically at the stores. But I am so excited to try this out. And then finally, the last products. It's just two products that I found uh, Ulta that one is a new product and then one is a repurchase uh, let's talk about the repurchase so L'Oreal recently for reformulated one of my favorite foundations and it's this one this is the L'Oreal infallible up to 32 hour I think the original one is 24 hours now this is 32 hours which I don't recommend anybody wearing more than 24 like no more than 10 hours 12 hours but anyways this is 32 hour wear uh, foundation sunscreen broad, broad spectrum SPF 25 this is um, my summer shade I did get it in 465 this says it has vitamin C now the reason why I got 465 my summer shade is because I already have 465 in the uh, old formula so I want to compare to see what the difference is and if there is a difference and if there's a difference that I do not like I'm gonna be really upset <laughs> because I love this foundation this is such a good foundation um but yeah this has now it has vitamin c in it and this is 32 hour wear now and the other one's 24 hour wear the other one didn't have vitamin c so we will test this out once I get a little bit more darker and you know I forgot to check the expiration date on this I probably should have did that but oh they don't have it no more I think the old formula has the actual expiration date but yeah, this one doesn't, but anyways, I'm going to have to test these out side by side to see, and I will let you guys know, hopefully, fingers crossed, it's not that big of a difference, 
And then finally, the last thing that I got from Ulta is the NYX Buttermelt Bronzer. I did get it in the shade but a biscuit it just looks like this now the reason why I got it in this shade was because they were all sold out of the other shade that I wanted I forgot what shade it was they were sold out of a lot of the shades but this is the one that they had and I swatched it and it was close enough for me so I did go ahead and get this one let's go ahead and swatch it real quick actually let me open this and then the car is going off so let me do that real quick I'll be right back Okay guys, I lied to you, sorry. <laughs> I'm actually not gonna swatch this product because I forgot, I wanna do a full face of new drugstore makeup. I have a bunch of drugstore makeup that I wanna test out, but I've been holding off just because we've had the Ulta sale, the Sephora sale, and I've had other things that I wanted to film. But I will definitely be filming a full face of drugstore makeup, but I still wanna show you what the product looks like inside. I'm not sure if this is maybe the second, no, this is definitely not the second, the third or fourth shade. I think this is the third shade, but this is what it looks like. It definitely looks more darker on camera than it does when I swatch it, and in person it looked darker, but when I swatched it, it looked like a pretty good color, and I did ask my husband what he thought of the color, and he said this one was a good color too, but yeah, so I got this, and then I will use this in an upcoming video. Sorry, I was like, wait a minute, what are you talking about, April? <laughs> I almost forgot to show you guys, so I did take off the swatch of that lip stain. This is what it uh, left. Now, I will say, I used a makeup wipe, which I probably shouldn't have used, and it was a little hard to take off, but the stain is not that much. I mean, you could still see there's there's a stain, but I'm going to have to play with it. Like I said, I should have used something else, like a wet napkin or something with just water or just my finger. But yeah, it was hard to come off at first. The stain isn't as pigmented as I thought it was going to be. But yeah, I'm just going to have to test this out some more. But I wanted to let you guys know because I almost forgot to show you guys. All right, you guys, that was everything that I got during the Sephora sale and the Ulta semi-annual sale. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget, if you're not already subscribed, I would love if you would subscribe to my channel. And I might have one more haul for the Sephora sale coming up. We will see. If not, I will just share it with you on my community tab. So stay tuned for that. But until the next time, I will catch you guys later. Bye.